Takeout with your host, AD. I'm not Bex. And Stacy. All right, girls, it's time for week 11 picks, but let's recap week 10 a little bit. What a wild weekend of football. Yeah, I don't know who this Bex character is, but she cannot pick games to save her life. Right? Can I don't she, know what she was thinking. Can she at least pick her nose? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently she can pick her friends, so. There you go. I digress. <laughs> All right, that's good. Um, well, let's go ahead and get on into it. We've got Thursday night. We got Colts at the Titans. I have Titans picked for home field advantage, but uh, I think it's gonna be close, close division game. I've got Colts. I have the Colts too. I know that they're not gonna be, you know, they're away, but I'm gonna go with them. You know, I didn't pick very well last week, so. Yeah. yeah, nobody did. <laughs> it's not just us. Nobody did. Okay, Sunday, we've got the Lions at the Steelers. I'm going with Stafford Megatron. Big time. Lions all the way on this one. I have Lions as well this week, um, so hopefully I'll get that one right. All right, I'm a little scared we're all agreeing again. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the Falcons at the Buccaneers. I'm picking Falcons, although yay, Bucks, you finally got one. Yeah, Glennon looked really, really strong. He looked really good, but I'm telling you, they, they're just not letting him release those long balls enough. Long balls. <laughs> so I'm going Falcons. You know, I'm I'm going against the grain. I'm going to go Buccaneers, so okay. we'll see how I fare. All right. Um, then we've got Cardinals at the finally got themselves a win, Jags. I'm going Cardinals. Yep, Jags aren't strong enough for two in a row, so i got to go Cardinals. I hate to agree, but I have Cardinals. <laughs> Cardinals, all right. It can't be so well of a week pick for us this week. Right? Oh, well, we, we've got another division game. Uh, we've got Redskins at the Eagles. I'm going to pick Eagles solely based on everybody knows I love Connor Barwin. He's uh, tied uh, for leading the league in batted down balls right now. And so uh, go Barwin. Balls. Balls, yeah. again. Big Philly. Big Philly all the way on this one. <laughs> I have Philadelphia too. <laughs> All right, then we've got Raiders at Texans. Everybody knows I love my Texans. They're having an awful year. The Raiders actually have one more win than they do. But I think it's time for um, Case Keenum and Andre Johnson to be getting some good press. They are uh, making amazing connections in every game that we're just not closing the deal as a team. But I, I do think Texans will get it. And just like a little factoid, Case Keenum has now thrown in three games 10% of Andre Johnson's career touchdowns. Yeah, they, 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 he's finally getting used. Absolutely finally getting used. Yep. And it's about damn time. I mean, Texans have to win this one or they are going to burn the damn stadium down. You watch. The, the jersey will be nothing. <laughs> so go Texans. I, I agree. Texans um, at home, it's going to be a great game to watch, so I'm really excited for this weekend. All right. Um, I like everybody agreeing on that one. Hopefully hopefully our team does. <laughs> hopefully the team can go get them a win. All right, then we have the Ravens at the Bears, and I am going to pick based on Soldier Field because, I, I, again, I think it'll be a close game. Soldier Field is its own kind of beast, so I'm going to go with the home team on it. You got to go with the home team on this one. Uh, Bears play strong at home, and really, it's, it's a pretty even match. I think you're right. I think it is going to be a pretty close game. At least I hope so. Makes it more fun to watch. But yeah, Bears. Yeah, I do have Bears at home as well. Um, I just think that they're gonna they're gonna do well. So I have Bears. All right, then we've got the Jets at the Bills. Now, Bills have been doing a lot better this year, so I do want to give them props for that. However. The Jets of, I can't believe these words are coming out of my mouth. It still freaks me out this year, but they shut the Saints down last week, and that was excellent planning on their part and coaching. So um, I, I think that if, I think they can go get it if they plan that well again. Yeah, I'm going Jets too, because they're looking mighty fine since they washed off the dirty Sanchez. So absolutely, I'm, I'm going Jets on this one as well. That's right. I'm not picking Jets. I'm going to do Bills this week, so we'll see how it goes for me. 
she, she, she didn't know what to do with the Dirty Sanchez or the balls Actually, comments. Yeah. I, <laughs> I know what to do with the Dirty Sanchez. There you go. Yeah. That's right, Skull Girl. You guys spend a lot of time in the house in the winter. So <laughs> let's go with the, the Browns at the Bengals. I, I love my redhead. I, I'm going to go Bengals. He was real close last week. He was so close. So I have Browns. So I'm going to go Cleveland even though away. So we'll see how I do. Yeah. No, I, I really think it'll be close, Stacey. And I love the Browns' D and the way they're playing. Um, they, they've kept themselves in it. I, I am going to go with the f- fluorescent orange hair and uh, team, <laughs> the Bengals at home, because – psychologically coming off a loss, I think they're going to fight even harder and that they should be able to get this win. So they only have chargers at the emotional mess Dolphins. So I'm going San Diego. Yeah, I think you have to go San Diego on this one because Dolphins, their house is just not in order. And it's definitely not going to be that way by the end of this week. So right. Chargers. I am picking Chargers, but again, Miami <laughs> and me, we don't seem to like each other. So, you know, they might pull one off this week. Cause I, I, have to, I have to admit, I laughed a little bit watching that game when I thought Miami was going to come back and then they bombed it at the end. I was like, oh, Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> it was like last year, me with the Steelers. <clears throat> uh, yeah, no matter absolutely. what I picked, they did exactly the opposite. So, okay, then we have got... The Vikings at the Seahawks. Now, these are y'all's teams. I'm going to say I got Seahawks at home just because statistically it makes sense, but you two take time and convince me. Um, all right. I, 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 I've got the Seahawks on this one, which is very hard for me to say, but I will say this. When you watch the game, look for two key players. You're going to be looking for John Carlson. He's a tight end that replaced Kyle Rudolph. He uh, had a 28-yard touchdown the last game. It was phenomenal play and he's a big 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 up and comer even though he's been playing for five years and he used to be a Seahawk as a matter of fact but also uh Cordero Patterson he's a rookie this year he shines he absolutely shines and you're going to see him get a lot more passes considering the fact that Jerome Simpson is having a little legal trouble this week so even though our offense is looking a little bit better our secondary blows it's so difficult for me to say that my D line is tight. It's beautiful. I love my deadly ends, but with that passing game and the running game, I don't think they're going to do it. I'm sorry. We're going to lose it on defense and I'm going to have to go Seahawks. I chose Seahawks um, just because home field advantage. Uh, I just think that they're hard to beat at home with the crowd and everything in the stadium. I just think also their defense is, hopefully playing a little bit better. So I really have them um, to win this game. I do think that it might be close, though. Yeah. yeah. I hope so. But I hope so. The Bucks almost beat them last week, Stacey. Right. So unless, I mean, no, unless they've got something going better, um, yeah, I mean, it's, it's – Shit, it's anyone's game every week this year. Then we hey, got, I'm still cheering for Minnesota. I'm still cheering for Minnesota. There you go. Then we've got the Packers at the Giants, and, and I've got the Giants because the Giants have been dealing with whatever their mess is since game one. And the Packers, with Rodgers going out two weeks ago, then their backup going out last week, I just don't think offensively they're, they're going to be on their A game, and I think that leans to the Giants' favor. Yeah, yeah, when you got a newbie driving the bus, it's going to crash. I'm sorry. It, Eli Manning's been leading his team for longer. I think that they have a better edge because of that. So I'm, I'm going to go Giants as well. Okay. I have Giants as well. I just think that, um, you yeah, know, they seem to be doing better. So we'll, we'll go with Giants this week. Okay. Then we've got the 49ers at the Saints. Saints coming off of, a, just like I said, Breeze spanked the Cowboys, but they're – the Cowboys' defense is weaker than the 49ers, so I think that the um, game's going to be closer, especially when Cowboys lost Ware and Lee. That really hurt them and made it a much easier game for the Saints, I think. Yeah, Christmas came early for Romo, unfortunately. You know, I, it, it wasn't a good pick on my part. I under, underestimated the Saints. I will not do it again this week. I'm going to go Saints as well. I have Saints at home. I really think that Breeze, you know, in the home, you know, home field advantage, and he seems to do well, you know, over 300 yards passing. So I'm going to go with Saints at home. Yeah, Saints had something like 600 
plus yards of offense against yes. the Cowboys. So, I mean, it was that was a beat down. Uh, then we got Chiefs at Broncos. Now, everybody knows I love Captain Cranium. I don't know what the deal is. It, it, it's more than just football player. He's it's, he's funny. He cracks me up, but he is an excellent football player. I am extremely concerned about his mobility with his ankles, even if his ankles were fine. Uh, look, I've I've we've played this Chiefs defense. They're going to be coming at him. Their their secondary is great. Um, that's going to be the part of the game worth watching. I think the other side of it, you know, Chiefs offense a little static. Um, nobody worries about Broncos' defense. But those moments when it's going to be Peyton on the field against that D is going to be quite the game. I have Broncos with home field advantage. Yeah, we all know you're into big heads, all right? <laughs> like the man with a big head. Good God. Oh, you can that out. Captain you can Forehead. Rent it out, you know, right? Papa John's. Anyways, I've got the Broncos because I, I really think that uh, – the Chiefs have a beaten coming, and who better to do it than who I would consider right now probably the best and a uh, quarterback in the NFL. So you, i got to side with the Broncos on this one. I really have Broncos at home, too. Um, home field advantage, and, and I agree with you, Amber, about the mobility, but um, I think they'll be able to pull this one through. I, I believe it's going to be a very close game, though. Yeah, I meant to stand on one leg and get it done. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually concerned, though. I, I think this defense is better than the Colts' defense was. Difference being, though, is that, um, you know, the offense is not Andrew Luck and Reggie Wayne. So I, I think that the Broncos can win. Anyway, then we have Monday Night Football, which, God, last week's Monday Night Football was a snooze fest. It was absolutely painful to watch. Um, this week we have Patriots at the Panthers. Now, last year I would have said Patriots – because it's the Panthers. But this year, the Panthers are playing great. I am going to go with the Patriots because of their defense. Their offense has got a couple other weapons back. Uh, but the Panthers could could take it. I think the Panthers will take it. I, I, like, I'm like you. Last year, I would have picked Pats. Like, ah! But this year, I'm not so sure about it. And I've just been seeing too many good things coming out of Carolina. So I'm going with the Panthers. I have Patriots. Um, I know they're going to be away, but I, I, I think that they'll do well. So again, I'm going to I'm going to do Pats this week. We'll see how well. I haven't picked a Monday Night Football game, <laughs> so we'll see. Oh, that's awesome! All right, well, that's Week Eleven picks with NFL Takeout. Bye. Oh. <laughs>